Imagine this. You're expecting, filled with joy and anticipation. But then, at a routine checkup, your doctor pauses, looks at your results, and says, You have gestational diabetes. The words feel heavy. Will my baby be okay? Did I do something wrong? Take a deep breath. You're not alone. In fact, millions of women worldwide face this exact situation, and with the right care, most go on to have healthy pregnancies and healthy babies. Gestational diabetes doesn't mean you failed. It simply means your body is reacting to the unique demands of pregnancy. In the next 15 minutes, we'll uncover what gestational diabetes really is, why it happens, how it's diagnosed, and the steps you can take to manage it. You'll also hear real-life stories and discover research shaping the future. By the end, you'll see. This condition is serious, but with awareness and action, you can take control. What is gestational diabetes? Gestational diabetes mellitus, or GDM, is high blood sugar that appears for the first time during pregnancy. It happens because the placenta, which nourishes your baby, also produces hormones that make your body more resistant to insulin. Normally, insulin works like a key that unlocks your cells so glucose can enter and fuel your body. But during pregnancy, those keys don't work as well and sugar starts building up in the blood. For most women, the pancreas can produce extra insulin to balance things out. But in some cases, it simply can't keep up. That's when GDM develops. The condition often goes away once the baby is born, since those hormones leave with the placenta. But the impact doesn't end there. Gestational diabetes can affect the baby's health at birth and increase the mother's risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Think of it as a warning light on your dashboard, one that you can't ignore but one that gives you time to act. How common is it? How common is gestational diabetes? Globally, anywhere from 1% to 20% of pregnancies are affected. The variation depends on ethnicity, lifestyle, and even which diagnostic test is used. In India, it's particularly striking. Nearly one in seven pregnancies is impacted, one of the highest rates in the world. Why is this happening? Partly because our lifestyles have changed, Cities encourage long hours sitting at desks, cars replace walking, and convenience food replaces traditional home-cooked meals. Women are also choosing to have children later, and age naturally reduces the efficiency of insulin-producing cells. Combine these with rising obesity rates and the numbers climb. South Asian women are genetically more vulnerable to insulin resistance, making GDM even more common. In developing regions, poor awareness and limited access to screening make matters worse. Simply put, this isn't just a personal health issue, it's becoming a global public health challenge. Risk Factors Now let's talk about risk factors. Some are within your control and some aren't. Modifiable risks include being overweight before pregnancy, following a diet high in refined sugars and unhealthy fats, and leading a sedentary lifestyle. Gaining more weight than recommended during pregnancy also increases the chance of GDM. Non-modifiable risks include being over 30, belonging to ethnic groups like South Asian, Hispanic, or African, and having a family history of diabetes. Women who have had gestational diabetes before, or delivered a baby weighing over 4 kilograms, are also more prone. And conditions like PCOS, which already involve insulin resistance, add to the risk. Knowing these factors doesn't mean you're destined to get GDM, but it does mean you should be proactive. Awareness allows for early screening, which can make all the difference. Symptoms and why screening matters. Here's the tricky part. Gestational diabetes often hides in plain sight. Many women don't notice anything unusual. When symptoms do appear, they might look like normal pregnancy changes. Increased thirst, frequent urination, tiredness, or even blurred vision. But because these overlap with typical pregnancy experiences, GDM can easily go unnoticed. That's why most guidelines recommend universal screening, testing all pregnant women, 
not just those with risk factors. Think of it this way. GDM is like a silent guest at your pregnancy party. If you wait for it to knock loudly, it may already have caused problems. Screening is the flashlight that helps you spot it early so you can manage it before it harms you or your baby. Diagnosis and Screening Screening usually takes place between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. The first step is a glucose challenge test. You'll drink a sweet liquid, and one hour later, your blood sugar is measured. If the value is high, you move on to the oral glucose tolerance test, or OGTT. For the OGTT, you fast overnight, drink another glucose solution, and your blood sugar is tested multiple times. Fasting one hour, two hours, and sometimes three hours later. According to the ADA 2024 criteria, even one abnormal value is enough to diagnose GDM. These strict thresholds are designed to protect both mom and baby. Other tests like HbA1c aren't reliable during pregnancy because hormone changes can distort the results. That's why standardized screening is so important. Management and Treatment Here's the hopeful part. Gestational diabetes can be managed successfully. The first line of defense is medical nutrition therapy. A personalized diet that balances complex carbs, lean proteins, and healthy fats while avoiding excess sugar. It's not about starving yourself, it's about making smarter choices. The second tool is exercise. Gentle, safe activities like walking, swimming, or prenatal yoga improve insulin sensitivity. Just 30 minutes of walking after meals can make a big difference. If lifestyle changes aren't enough, doctors prescribe insulin. It's the gold standard treatment because it doesn't cross the placenta and is safe for the baby. In some cases, oral medications like metformin are considered, though long-term safety data are still evolving. Finally, monitoring is crucial. Regularly checking your blood sugar ensures you're on track, with goals like fasting below 95 and post-meal values under 140. Complications for mother and baby Why does all this matter? Because uncontrolled GDM can create complications for both mom and baby. For mothers, it increases the risk of preeclampsia, a dangerous condition involving high blood pressure and protein in urine. It also raises the chance of cesarean delivery due to larger babies and can double or triple the risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. For babies, the effects begin even before birth. High maternal sugar can make them grow too large, leading to delivery complications. After birth, they may experience low blood sugar because their insulin production remains high. Some may struggle with breathing problems due to delayed lung maturity. And long-term, children of mothers with GDM are more likely to face obesity and metabolic disorders. This is why early diagnosis and strict management aren't optional. They're essential. Labor, delivery, and postpartum. Labor and delivery decisions often depend on how well blood sugar is controlled. If sugars are stable, vaginal delivery is usually safe. But if the baby is very large or there are signs of distress, a cesarean may be necessary. What matters most is keeping both mother and baby safe. After delivery, the story isn't over. Doctors recommend testing your blood sugar again at 6 to 12 weeks postpartum. Even if your levels return to normal, you'll need ongoing monitoring every 1 to 3 years, since up to 50% of women with GDM develop type 2 diabetes within a decade. Breastfeeding helps too. It improves glucose regulation, aids weight loss, and benefits the baby. Postpartum care is not just about healing, it, it's about protecting your long-term health. Let me share a real example. A 32-year-old woman with a BMI of 28 and a family history of diabetes came for her routine screening at 26 weeks. Her glucose challenge test was elevated and an OGTT confirmed gestational diabetes. Instead of panicking, she embraced lifestyle changes. She followed a personalized nutrition plan, started daily 30-minute walks, and kept track of her blood sugars. Within weeks, her levels stabilized. She didn't need insulin. At 39 weeks, she delivered a healthy baby with no complications. 
Postpartum testing at eight weeks showed her sugars were back to normal. Her story proves that early detection and simple lifestyle adjustments can prevent complications and lead to safe outcomes for both mom and baby. Prevention Strategies The best way to manage gestational diabetes is to prevent it, and prevention starts long before conception. Before pregnancy, maintaining a healthy weight, staying active, and following a balanced diet can lower risk. During pregnancy, regular checkups, moderate exercise, and mindful eating help maintain glucose balance. Even small changes, like replacing sugary snacks with fruit or adding short walks after meals, can add up. At the community level, awareness programs ensure women know about screening and the importance of early action. Prevention isn't just about one mother. It's about protecting entire families. Research and Future Directions The future of GDM care is exciting. Researchers are exploring biomarkers that could predict gestational diabetes as early as the first trimester, giving mothers a head start on prevention. New therapies are being studied, while insulin remains the gold standard, Drugs like metformin and GLP-1 receptor agonists are being evaluated for safe use during pregnancy. Technology is playing a huge role. Continuous glucose monitors and smartphone apps allow real-time tracking and remote consultations through telemedicine. And precision medicine, tailoring treatment to a woman's genetics and metabolism, could soon transform how GDM is managed. Public health initiatives are also key. Integrating GDM care into primary health care and preconception counseling could help reduce its rising burden. Here's the takeaway. Gestational diabetes is common, but it doesn't have to be frightening. With early screening, a healthy lifestyle, and proper care, most mothers deliver healthy babies and protect their own future health. Pregnancy is a journey of hope, and knowledge is your strongest ally. If this video gave you clarity, hit like, share it with an expecting mom, and subscribe to Book e Health for more life-changing health guides. And before you go, don't miss our next video, Myths About Diabetes Busted, where we clear up the biggest misconceptions and bring you the truth about living with diabetes. Remember, every healthy choice you make is not just for you but also for the little life growing inside you.